Hey YouTube, it's me at your iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be discussing a few tweaks that's free that I think you guys should definitely check out. So let's get started. The first one I'm going to share with you is called Prettier Banners. What this does, guys, is it takes out the app icon and replaces it with your contact photo. And let me show you exactly what that is. So you see when I send myself this now you see in the contact right there I'm getting my contact photo rather than the iMessage icon that's called prettier banners and I think it's a pretty awesome little tweak definitely one you want to check out the next one here we're going to talk about is called no volume HUD if you're like me you really hate that big footprint that that Apple has designed for the volume HUD. Why they think it should be that large, I don't know. I normally use a different, uh, I, let me see what it's called, I can tell you. Volume Status 8, which puts it up in the status bar with just little bubbles. But this completely removes it, which, you know, to me, I don't really need that. If I need to see how much volume I have, all I have to do is flip up my control center you no longer need a volume HUD, guys. It's right there in your control center. If you have to look at it, no volume HUD. The next one is called No Update History. Now, this is a cool tweak because it doesn't, re you, you get rid of all your app update history, you know, and that can, can take up a lot of space, not just, you know, aggravation, but you don't have to configure anything. You just install it and it gets rid of all that update history. One you definitely want to check out. Another awesome one, speaking of Apple's uh, requirements, is the support unsupported uh, accessories here. How many of you have got a generic charger and plugged it up and got the little pop-up that says, this, this, this US cable is not supported, la da 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 well now if you will install this tweak you can use that cable without any problems without any at all guys grab it you'll love that that's called support unsupported accessories the next thing i'm going to throw at you is called no update history which we done looked at is a file browser now if you've ever needed to use ifile and you just didn't want to pay that $499 price tag, now you can get one here that's free. Costs you absolutely nothing. You get basically almost the same things, and you don't have to pay anything. And it adds an icon to your springboard file browser. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Right here is file browser. You see you got all your little folders. But now that's the only thing that I found such aggravating so far is the damn pop-ups. Advertisements, it's eat up with advertisements, which I know this guy has to make some money some way. He's put in a lot of uh, time and effort, but maybe he could offer an update where, you know, if you want to, and I think that you can update and get rid of those. So you still got your FTP transfer, your web transfer, you got pretty much about everything here. You can add and name folders. You can rename folders. But the other day when I was trying to use it, every time I tapped the camera app, it crashed. And it's still doing that. So developer, if you're listening, you need to correct that. I'm on iOS 8.1 with the iPhone 6. That is a problem and an issue that needs to be corrected. But overall, guys, you can rename. You can copy and paste. You can create folders, you can delete files, you can create and extract zip files. You still got your full FTP access. You can do it all in here. You can watch videos, uh, preview photos. You got your image previewer. You got it all right here inside this. The another one I'm going to throw at you guys is called Insta Copy Text, and then there's an Insta Facebook Text. They both do the same thing, but one of them does it in Facebook, one of them does it in Instagram. The, the one it does it in Facebook is called Facebook Copy Text. This is Insta Copy Text because it does it in Instagram. But what this does, it allows you to copy your some text in Instagram. 
and for some reason I'm having a hard time finding my uh, icons today but if we go in here and we'll go to mine and I don't really have any text on anything but let's just pull something up here in the home page okay all you have to do here guys just we'll just scroll down through here and I don't know hopefully these people won't matter double tap and you see right here you can copy by just by double tapping that you can copy now and then if you wanted to you could come in here to say pages and let's see how, how much of that we can actually paste back in okay as you can see it, it copied pretty much every bit of the text so it does work and you can do the same thing with the one that's called Facebook and I don't think that I installed it no here it is FB copy text so what this one does it allows you to copy you long press on the post text here to see the actions so if we go into Facebook and long press on some of the actual Let's see if I can pull mine up here I'm gonna try to pull my page up right here long press we should get our pop-ups and we do and we hit copy now if we go back into pages see how much of that it copied pretty much every bit of it so it is working guys it's pretty awesome um, I'm thinking that's probably about six or eight different tweaks that I've thrown at you one more before we go if you're a person that likes to kill all your background apps at once kill background 8 is out it's free all you have to do here to use this it's just it's, it adds a special button in your app switcher so let's open our app switcher where is our button I don't see a button. Do you see a button anywhere? Alright, let's go back in. I'll close. We'll close the app switcher. Maybe we ain't got it turned on. We don't. So, button on the left. Big button. You can kill your music. Now, you may have to respring, I'm not sure. You can also set it up to activator when I open this up. Yep, down the bottom left corner, I got a little button. If I tap that little button down there in the bottom, it's going to kill all of my background apps, and it just did. There's nothing running now. So, guys, that's some awesome tweaks, and they're free. Grab them. I know you'll enjoy every one of them. If you're not a subscriber, we want you to come here. We have a fun time. If you ever have any questions, I try my best to answer them in the comments. Shoot me an email. I have a contact page on iPhoneCaptain.com. If you want to be a supporter of the channel or want a shout out, click the little uh, contribute button there. Send me five bucks. I'll send you a shout out and we'll try to help you get your channel started. Don't forget as always guys to share this content and keep coming back.